Quilt Co. I'm Danae. On this episode of Sew and Tell, I have my five favorite books that I listened to in November while sewing. First up, The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. It opens with Ted and Lily meeting on a red-eye flight from London to Boston. After a few too many martinis, the strangers begin a game of truth, which starts to reveal some very intimate details of their lives and Ted shares about his marriage and his belief that his wife Miranda is cheating on him. As the game continues, Ted jokes that he could kill his wife for what she's done, to which Lily calmly replies, I'd like to help. Lily, as it turns out, holds firm to the belief that after all, aren't some people the kind worth killing? This book will keep you guessing and each twist and turn is better than the last four stars. Next is Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson. When Eleanor Bennett passes away, her inheritance to her two adult children, Byron and Benny, who no longer speak to each other, is a black cake made from an old family recipe and a voice recording. Her message to her children is a heartbreaking story of a young woman who must escape her home under the suspicion of murder and the child she was forced to leave behind. Byron and Benny are left to piece together their mother's true past and find the sister they aren't sure they want. Five stars for this beautifully written story of a bewildering family history and the decisions people make when they feel like they have no other options. I have now read The 100 Years of Lenny and Margot by Marianne Cronin two times this year. I read it at the beginning of the year and absolutely loved it and then read it again this last month for my book group. It's the heart-wrenching story of Lenny, a 17-year-old girl living in the terminal ward, and the friendship she strikes up at a hospital art class with 83-year-old Margot. Immediately, Lenny realizes their combined age is 100 years old, and from there, they take you along as they paint 100 paintings, one for each year of their combined lives. Through those paintings, they share the story of their lives with each other. It's a heart-wrenching story of friendship and love, Four and a half stars, I highly recommend. The Unsinkable Greta James by Jennifer E. Smith is a story about a daughter trying to make peace with her father after her mother's unexpected death. And Greta James isn't just any daughter. She happens to be an indie rock star who's finally playing the huge venues she once just dreamed of. Well, that was until she had a meltdown while performing right after her mother's death. Now the father and daughter find themselves together on an Alaskan cruise that her mother had planned for her parents' 40th anniversary. On the ship, while attempting to build a better relationship with her dad, Greta also befriends a handsome guest lecturer who's having some personal troubles of his own. Four stars, this is a book that I think would make for an excellent book club discussion. The last book I have for today is The Book of Lost Names by Kristen Harmel. I had to take a break from World War II books for a minute because that felt like the only thing I was reading. But this book sucked me back in when I saw on Goodreads it had almost four and a half stars with over 125,000 reviews. And there's a good reason for that because this book has it all. It's based on a true story and told in dual timelines, taking Eva from present day back to 1940s Paris where she was a young Jewish girl. Young Eva is forced to leave her home with her mother and finds herself working with a forgery ring whose primary goal is creating documents to help save the lives of hundreds of Jewish children as they're fleeing the Nazis. Five stars. This book has romance, heartbreak, love, determination, bravery, and characters that will stay with you for a long time. I would love to know what you thought of today's recommendations and also what you're currently reading. Leave me a comment below and be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for more book chats. Happy sewing and reading! See y'all next time!